Hey, what's up guys? It's Archie from Motorized Bunch of Gaming. Today, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate just came out for the Nintendo Switch, and here is the special edition Pro Controller for that. I recently got my Switch, and I've been meaning to get a Pro Controller for quite some time, but uh, I heard that this was going to come out, and I'm such a big fan of Super Smash Bros. that I thought I would go ahead and hold out for it. So here it is, and I'm going to go ahead and unbox it for you guys, but let's go ahead and take a look at the box really quick. So on the back here, it talks about how it's, you know, it's a wireless controller, it's easy to hold. Um, it's a lot better than um, the Joy-Con controllers, obviously. To be honest, those Joy-Cons are just not going to cut it for a game like Super Smash Brothers. But anyways, if you see here on the back, it talks about how it can hold 40 hours on a single charge, which I, I find that really impressive. And you can charge it with the Nintendo Switch AC adapter. So it does use a, a Type-C USB connection if you guys aren't familiar with it. It doesn't really say much uh, else here on the back, so let's take a look at the bottom. You know, nothing special on the bottom, so... Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and open it up. And here on the top, you do have the Nintendo logo and you have two sticker seals on either side. Alright, pretty sturdy box. Okay. So just cardboard piece right there. It is encased in some foamy plastic. It does come with a cable, so if you're concerned about that, it comes with a cable. And this is a Type-C connection. I wonder if this could charge the Nintendo Switch. There's that, and then here is the Pro Controller. There is nothing else inside the box. There is a little code right there though. I don't know what that's significant for, but you have a QR code and some numbers. Maybe a serial number, we'll see. So here is the controller. I wish I had the original to compare side by side, but uh, real quick guys, one of the main questions that people are gonna have is uh, is this controller any different from the other controllers? I don't know if, if I can give you a direct answer for that, but for the most part, it's a no. So the reason why I say that is because there are reports online that the D-pad has been improved on some of the new controllers with the Xenoblade model and some other controllers. They say that the D pad has it been improved on the Xenoblade model because it has a longer pivot but other than that that's the only report that I'm seeing online of you know a revision or a refresh of the controller if you will as far as I can see that's all you have your X Y A B buttons here home button snapshot button and the plus and minus over here other than that I have to say this looks really sweet I do have a Super Smash Brothers edition of the Joy-Con controllers and it just has the same logo so I kind of have a theme going on because I love Super Smash Smash Brothers and I think this is a great addition to the collection. The handles are all white. If you look here they almost look kind of rubbery but they aren't. It's kind of smooth but it is grippy. And then here on the main part it is a bit transparent so you can kind of see some of the outlines of the screw holes and this and that but it looks really slick. And here on the back you can kind of see some of the same thing. I'm assuming that's the battery but it feels really great in the hand. I was kind of in the air on whether I wanted to get the, uh, the GameCube side controller but honestly I feel like just because that was the original design for you know Super Smash Brothers on GameCube it doesn't mean that it's the best one necessarily but you know I'm more a fan of some of the more modern controllers anyways guys I don't really have much else to add to that it's pretty simple unboxing but um, the buttons feel great uh, I can't wait to play it honestly I just got home and I started with this unboxing and I'm really excited to play Super Smash Brothers so I'm gonna be streaming that if you guys see this video I should be streaming Super Smash Brothers uh, several times over the next couple weeks so if you guys are interested stay tuned for that other than that that's pretty much it guys if you guys enjoyed the video please give me a thumbs up if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment i'll be answering all of them and uh, as always support the channel by subscribing i'll see you guys on the next video i gotta go eat some rice and i'll be playing super smash brothers later thanks